then just thought I'd do an update video again. Um, this is one of the old coops for stripping. I've took the engine box out of it. Um, that's been sold. Um, a VVT one, one of these have been sold. Um, this one was quite good. Um, so bought this one. Um, spat the spark plug out of um, number one. Um, so I used. So you can buy these kits off. Um, I forget who I, I think it was a tool fellow that was coming around at a workplace that I was at. Um, pretty much. That's your, the the tap that you get in the kit. And then, as long as your spark plug fits in the centre of that, you're all right. Um, there's a few. You get three in the set of different size lengths. Um, I think put the, the longest length in that, and a bit of Loctite on the thread insert. So literally, it screws into the plug. You tap it through on the head, um, crank it over, let all the um, bits of Ali Swarf come out. Um, probably get people saying. Oh, it damaged the engine, this and that, but um, just crank it over for a bit and um, usually alright. Um, oh, I've not got enough power. No. It does run. Um, it passed the MOT. Um, in the UK, we've got MOT, so um, each year you, they're classed to go for an MOT, so it has to meet the uh, emissions criteria and a minimum standard of the suspension, brakes and steering. Um, but yeah, um, so it was just compression just coming out of there when it was running. It, it runs alright. I've just put a new timing belt kit on it. Um, it just humps a little bit. Um, so when we got it, well, I think it was last weekend I did it. Um, there's a cable tie around here. Um, so I put clips on, made sure they were tight. Um, so it's either going to be um, idle control valve, which is that one, that's causing it. Uh, right, I'll edit that video. Yeah, but um, throttle control valve. Um, so it's either going to be that or mass airflow sensor, probably. Um, because it just comes up as crank and cam correlation so I've swapped the crank and cam sensors um, off that one that is the automatic one that I put the engine in um, I've ordered the timing belt kit for that one um, just the bottom crank pull is a bit of a pain to get it off so that's probably going to be loctited in um, you do loctite but um, a lot of mechanics from like the bonus scheme if you like loctite on the bolt and buzz it straight in that type of thing um, well you can um, it's just tight the wheels have probably got to be on the floor so I may drop it on the floor yet you can put um, I think it's a 24 27 mil spanner on the cam um, and you can put a bar on it chuck it in gear um, foot on the brake that type of thing um, try and crack it loose that way because um, I don't know if there's any way you can lock the engines I'm fairly sure there isn't because it's just got um, a self tension tensioner on it uh, which is why the, the, the pulleys just get buzzed on and off so you'd have to take the rocker cover off to do a belt which probably don't get the time to do it at a dealer um, so yeah I uh, changed the crank and cam on this and I think it still comes up crank and cam correlation so I've got um right um I'll just edit again um probably should clear some space off my phone um but yeah um so I'll have a look at that this weekend um it has passed the MOT with some advisory so there's like brakes a bit of a slight bind um so I'll strip the brakes off it and um have a look there. Uh, so in America these cars are called Tuscany, I think it is. Um, this one has come with a, a spacer plate, which is a bit iffy. Um, 
But yeah, uh, brakes binding. I ordered front number plate for it. Uh, that's about it. It's quite a nice one. It's like that one. Um, red leather interior, cruise control, heated seats. Uh, I think just a sig burn in that one. Um, just want to hoover. Um, and I can chuck that up for sale and see what's what. Uh, I've won a tyre machine. Um, that's in Yorkshire, so I need to go pick that up. Um, this is the, the ramp I've got. Um, so it was a three phase. Um, two and a half ton hydraulic ramp. Um, there's a three phase motor and converting it to single phase. So new motors at home, um, new single phase motor. Um, it's going to be a bit longer in length and it should fit. Um, the, so the, the drive gear are, are couplers. Um, it's sort of like a, a three cone type deal uh, and then a neoprene in the center then another coupler so the coupler will be on the the motor and then into the hydraulic box and that'll just pump the uh, hydraulic pump around to send the ramp up and down um, need to move the ramp again to the other end of that beam and then the roof wants a hole in it because that bar goes up so a bit like a, a drain pipe tube if you like so i can send the car up um, yeah, it, it don't seem a bad ramp, um, so I'll end up with like a, a, a decent ramp for I think about 500 quid and then it's single face for if I do go into a, a bigger unit, um, be alright then. Um, so this one wants stripping, and that can go for scrap, um, so the bits of, I've got a container up there on the yard I'm on. Um, so there's the burning gear, um, bits of tyres have moved, uh, just a bit of a mess at the minute. Um, so this one all runs, um, auto box works nice, takes quite a lot of ATF fluid though to be honest. Uh, brought some tools home from work, I know I've, I've still not done a, a toolbox tool but I may do one on that one for you. Um, I've not done one on me, green one, but these are mainly the tools like um, hand lamp, uh, it's not a matte one but the matte tools deal that we have um, he gets these in, they're called power hand um, not a bad torch, I've had it for a couple of months now um, matte tools, a ratchet, hammer, snap on sockets um, blue point multimeter, um, matte tools, torch bits matte tools, uh, tamper or security bits, these were a recent buy so they had to change, uh, what was it, it was a steering lock, yeah steering lock on a Nissan Note I had to do, um, and I didn't have one of them so I, I bought one of them, um, so that's the oil filter tools, the sockets for that, uh, so on a lot of the new Nissans they'll run the HR12 engine which is the um, 1.2 supercharged one, um, and a few of the what are the ones? The, the R9M and the M9R, I think it is. Uh, also run like a plastic um, oil filter cartridge, if you like. Um, brake pipe spanners. Um, there. I think. Oh, what are they? Brit Tool Expert. They are. Um, snap on Allen keys, Mac tool blow lamp, um, Sealy brake piston wind back tool. So they like the the Sealy stuff. Uh, my Mac tools dealer will um, warranty or uh, get bits for. Uh, Fac on, um, you know the um, I forgot the name of the clips. The the Norris Speed clip, but these are the the pliers for doing them. They like um. I like a hook on them and a ridge, um, they're a pain. Mac, uh, water clamp pliers, um, clamping all this stuff. You're alright for brake pipes as well if you're doing rear wheel cylinders. Wine strippers, um, these are Mac ones but they are Nipex, um, Mac tools and then Nipex. Um, slip jaw pliers. Or water pump pliers as some people know them. Uh, Mac tools, long pick set there. Um, 
supposed to solve soldering iron, but it is a what snap on do, re, uh, just rebranded as snap on. Was Draper Expert sockets, and then I broke the uh, one's that the 19 mil one. Um, I split it in half, so I bought um, a Fakum set off the back dealer. And just you, you got like a plastic. You didn't get a box of them, so I just chucked them in there, and then I've got the rest of that Draper set at work. Um, Mac tools, um, punching chisels, snap on, long reach spanners. Um, I, I do prefer the snap on spanners than the, the Mac tools ones. I did buy a 7 and an 8 mil Mac one, they're quite a, a big spanner. These are just a bit more rounded on the edges, um, a bit more rounded on the flat section, um, and they're just a nice spanner. Uh, snap and ratchet. Um, it, this comes as a set with the Allen keys. Um, it's quite a fine one, that. Just a silver line, sort right, so from work. Uh, what else? I think the power probes are as well. Power probes are Mac tools. They're Mac tools. Vice grips. They're not a bad set. Um, so, jump leads. I can't remember if I, if I did a video on them. The power probe. That's that. That is a decent tool for auto gas stuff. Um, that red box just a cheap uh, female torx bit set. To stuff. Match tool, spark plug sockets, so the, the long reach ones. I've had these since 2012. Then. So they've had quite a bit of use then. Um, coil spring compressor. Um, not sure if I did a video on my brother's MR2 F355 replica. Because um, they're like a, a housing and a, the damper inside the tube for the, the front shock absorbers on them. Press from home, bits of old and new oil. Um, toolbox, um, that's the socket for the bay window rear hooks. So that one's for the beetle ones and the flyer. And yes, I was wrong about the um, the beetle ball joints um, when, when I did look. So I will be pressing them back out and putting them into the notches. I wasn't 180 degrees out, I was a couple of mil out, but wasn't too bad but they do want changing see yeah um so I've cleared most of the stuff out of here um so like Hyundai parts is like aircon pumps alternators starter motors the cars are bought as like running and driving and um, the older stuff we have just bought um an older coupe um, it's what they've run in the Coupe Cup or Coupe Cup, the one make championship in the UK. Um, bits of drive shafts. I, I, I did pull an engine out of a, a V6. That was a pain in the bum, that one. Excuse me. Um, and old style coupes, they're on a normal push clutch. New coupes are on a pull clutch. If you didn't know that, so if you can't, if you're trying to do a clutch on a new coupe S3, and you can't take the box from the engine, you need to undo. You need to undo the, the gear selector shaft. Near a torch there, show you. Um, you. Need to undo the bolt for the where the hydraulic slave cylinder is on. Or the master cylinder, I should say. I think it is. Um, yeah, slave cylinder, sorry. So you need to undo that bolt there. That bolt there, you undo that, 
and that will release it from the release bearing um, if you didn't know that I found that out quite recently when I was doing that V6 which I thought they were all um, normal style clutch and they're not um, bits and pieces that uh, we have bought a transit van recovery truck now um, I'll chuck a picture of that and uh, my older Clio that I did put a gas system on broke so I bought a new one 06 Clio um, so it, it runs the, the same bottom end of the engine just a 16 valve head I think it is um, the car was cheap the engine I got off eBay put a new timing belt kit and water pump on it um, new clutch in it and service bits um, that took me three days to do um, so it was like well not three days how long did it take me two days sorry um, so like engine out old engine um, I had pitting on the cam have I scrapped that so there's the old engine um, there you go. So the engine that I bought as a replacement had that pitting on it on the lobes. So you had to swap the, the cam from the old engine in here and the uh, uh, roller rockers. I've got the ones out of the one that I got in that box. Um, engine got painted um, it all got made nice and yeah it's running all right now I just need to put that LPG tech gas system on it and I'll be all right now so that is it um, thanks for watching